Welcome to the now and thanks for tuning in. I'm thoroughly excited at the moment. Um, life's awesome, just in case you didn't know. If you want to focus on everything that you have going for you, I will guarantee that you will highlight that same point that life is amazing, just like you are. What has put me in such a great state of mind? Simply, I'm facing things that I feel are not balanced the way I'd like them to be. And the only way that I was able to achieve that state was to cultivate presence and kind of get out of the state of denial and the state of finding excuses to kind of underline that denial. I'll give you a brief anecdote in that respect. Um, I have two dogs, you've seen them, they're my mascots, they're my companions, they are the loves of my life, they're like my children, because I don't have children, and I love to play with children, and I would love to have children, but that's not the case right now, and it's a blessing, as I'm sure a lot of you will agree with. Not that having kids is the opposite of a blessing, they are blessings as well, um, but it is very convenient to be able to go out without having to find a babysitter, um, so on and so forth. So the reason why I brought up my mascots, companions, for balls of love is because just like anyone else, they're unique and have unique behavioral traits that some might not consider functional. I know I don't necessarily consider barking at the doorbell functional. Uh, nor do I consider barking at other dogs functional, so on and so forth. I'm trying to keep things brief so that you can enjoy the now as opposed to hearing me rant. So I decided, and not only did I decide, but I was, I've been blessed that I have around me an extremely stable structure of support. Uh, help coming from my best friend, best friends, family members, and so my best friend, as I am currently in the midst of trying to find a new place to stay, uh, recommended that I look into a dog rehabilitation-like program because, as I stated a few moments ago, if the doorbell rings, the dogs hey, go crazy. And that's just one of the behaviors. And so um, going online, doing a bit of research, uh, found this place called saint camin du Risseau and went for a proper term, proper term, proper term, evaluation. And so it's happening as of next Wednesday, the evaluation happened today a little earlier on and starting rehab as of Wednesday private training so that I can help them be more at ease in context I could also be more at ease and so the point of all of this is simply stating that the support is there for you you just need to talk about it and in order to talk about it, you need to cultivate presence to realize what the issue actually is. And I know with respect to the barking that it's not just their issue, it's also my issue. It's a kind of a cyclical process where we fuel each other. And therefore, we need to work together to create a functional, stable environment. And that's what is going to happen. That's what's being done. So back to the quote that I read and even posted yesterday in my blog. I'm going to read it again because there's nothing more accurate than that, especially in this context. It's okay to be scared. And yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared by the fact that if I move to a new place, which I think I might have found and they bark, that I'll get kicked out. But you still have to go out there. 
I, I can't hide in the house with the dogs and cover all the doors and windows and never leave again. It's just never going to be an option. And then by not locking myself in, obviously, the opposite is you got to open up and then you got to love. And I love them and they deserve to have a peaceful, free life expressing themselves in functional ways where they're happy and I'm happy and everyone else is happy, right? And make mistakes. It's human to make mistakes. It's natural to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again, time and time again. If we didn't mis make mistakes, erasers and whiteout would not exist. Everybody makes mistakes. That's why life is all about practice. And then learn from those mistakes, be stronger, and start all over again. Because with every breath, you start all over again. It's not just because I took an amazing breath moments ago that I now stop breathing forever. Everything repeats itself in different ways. There's always a light variation. And so even though I'm going to go into this rehab program, and it was uh, projected to be uh, either three private classes or after the three, if I feel like it's still unstable, another three. Who knows? Maybe it'll take three and then months later I'll realize, oh, maybe I need a little bit more help with this. I mean, we live in a, an environment where we're all looking for specialists, right? My tooth hurts, I go to the dentist. I have skin issues, I can go see the dermatologist. I have feet problem, I can go see the pediatric. Uh, so on and so forth. So why not? Why not utilize all those resources to your benefit, right? So closing off this post of how grateful I am for the support that is around me and the support that I can go and look for if I find the need to, you can come find me personally tomorrow on Saturday, September 14th. I will be guiding a stretch yoga practice at Atlas Gym starting at 10.15 a.m., after which you can find me at Asha Yoga Laval guiding a 75-minute core flow practice. It starts at 3, but you can definitely show up a little earlier. I'll be there as of 2.30. And then after that, at 5 p.m., I'm guiding a 75-minute flow. So I hope to see you there. If not, have a fantastic now. Today is September 13th. It's a Friday, so I hope you're very lucky today. Sending you tons of good vibes so that you can be the best vibration or be in contact with that innate vibration uh, that is balanced and at ease or engaged or whatever it is that you need it to be. And yeah. And, yep, I'm kind of like in, um, at a loss for words. I'm so happy. Happy that I get to share these things with you, as corny as that may sound. Happy that I get to connect. If you go and read Daring Greatly by Brene Brown, or any of Brene Brown's work, or a lot of psychology, inspirational work, in the end, you're going to see it everywhere. Our innate and most deep desire is to connect. And aren't we blessed that we get to connect through all these various mediums, whether it's in face-to-face -face interactions, whether it's through thoughts or through this worldwide, world wide web. <laughs> Still tripping on my in the line. But anyway, have a wonderful now. Peace out, and I'll catch you real soon.